Hey guys, I am Anuj Thapa. And I am Vipika Shrestha. In the last episode of our podcast, at the end of the day, we were talking to Svetlana Tikhanova from Russia. And in today's episode, we will be talking about how she evaluated her academic certificates from Russia. And we will also be talking about how she worked on her professional recommendations for her college application to the Columbia University. So, here we go. So, personal statement... TOEFL, TOEFL test mm-hmm. and what else? The next one was I remember that was uh, difficult, difficult for me. It was uh, your uh, official uh, transcript. Oh yes, mm-hmm. it's so oh, yes. because it's, it's a lengthy process. What I we had because it's I don't know if it's if each country is different. True. But from Russia, uh, it was so so difficult because for example, Columbia University they work only with a West company. Mm-hmm. It's a World Education Center. Mm-hmm. And this World Education Center, they require that you have to provide your official uh, transcript signed by Minister of Education. Did you mean to say World Education Services? Yeah. W-E-S? Yes, yes. Okay. right. Yes. W-E-S. Yeah, those, uh, that was the same organization where we accredited our, certified our certificates. Yes, so both of us are from Nepal yeah. and we had to do the same. My experience, I, I had the to a master's degree. Mm-hmm. So I have to send first contact with first university, mm-hmm. then I have to contact with second university, mm-hmm. and I ha- they have to receive all of them together. Mm-hmm. So the Columbia have to receive it, right. and they have to review. And they actually, I remember that it took me six, seven months, whole process. Wow. <laughs> Essay, mm-hmm. personal statement, online form. References. Re- oh, okay. references. Now references. Okay. That the uh, most important part, the references, that some people they probably they don't pay attention mm-hmm. to students, right. and so, and but the, what the also I got a good, I uh, received a good advice. The references should be written from people who really really know you. Mm-hmm. They have to know why did you apply this university mm-hmm. and how you can what contribute, and they have to write about yourself or about you, that who you are, that you will be the best student because they have, they know you very well, your your strengths mm-hmm. and your weaknesses. And if, for example, you ask somebody who doesn't know you, that it will be not so strong because how they can to write. Right. So for my recommendation, find the best people uh, who can give you a good, really strong recommendation. Mm-hmm. Oh. For that, did you reach out to, to your connection in Russia or you reached out to the connections in America? No, I, I was happy because I work in American corporation in based in Russia mm-hmm. and all my uh, previous boss, they were located in New York and okay. Houston. So I contacted with them and they gave me a good recommendation. And the one recommendation letter I got from uh, Columbia Impact mm-hmm. oh. that I want to mention that I was studying also Columbia Impact. Mm-hmm. Okay. They helped me pre- with all this application process. And it's a non-profit organization, part of the Columbia University. Okay. So they give me a good recommendation as well. Columbia so, Impact. So you worked right. for Columbia Impact. Yes. Okay. The one recommendation I, I received from professor of Columbia Impact. Wow. And especially, it's exactly, it's a, a free education. Mm-hmm. I was with him, I've been with them probably six months. They really, really helped me. And that I can recommend everyone be a part of this community. Columbia Impact. Oh, wow. Columbia Impact. So what does it actually do? They work with the students mm-hmm. and they help with application process, not just only with Columbia, with all institutions. So if you want wow. to apply, uh, because I applied in five institutions. Mm-hmm. I applied to the Institute of Technology, mm-hmm. NYU, and I also applied to Baruch College. Mm-hmm. They give me a discount for the application process. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because you know that you have to pay $100, $500, so if you are students with uh, Columbia Impact, they give me, and you are okay with deadline, mm-hmm. they, they can give you uh, a discount. So after that, when I, I started my, uh, so I applied, mm-hmm. and I was, when I was in Russia, I came to, uh, to, I, to visit my family, mm-hmm. and I, I received the email, you were accepted. Oh my God, so Ooh. surprised. Wow. <laughs> Wait, this happened in your first attempt to Colombia? It's the first time when I applied, wow. and I was, when I, I, I applied to, this, uh, for example, I applied in, uh, in June, mm-hmm. I applied in June, June, and then I went to Russia, uh-huh. and after one month, I, I received the confirmation that I was uh, accepted. Wow. Yeah, in a first attempt. Wow. That's, that's quite a story. Yes, mm-hmm. wow. If you have to advise a new immigrant who wants to 
enrolled to university what advice do you want to give them so the my best advice to uh, to do your homework mm -hmm. to do your homework about the university if the university meet, meets your expectation mm -hmm. and let uh, know them mm -hmm. and but also let them know you who you are so always come to the community before okay. your apl application process start mm -hmm. i was walking around like uh, two years before every day mm -hmm. you even can go come to the class and sit any classes during the summer and when you sit in the class you can meet with other students and ask them so this is my advice go ahead and meet with people and meet with faculty members mm -hmm. because it's they are from all of the world they can help you they, they know that students coming from different countries and they have a lot of questions so come here be uh, very very proactive and never give up keep uh, doing until we will become a member mm -hmm. oh wow if anybody wants to like get connected with you through email for career advice or any advice are you willing to share an email? So my email is S, mm -hmm. S and my last name mm -hmm. T S T I K H O N D A twenty six Gmail dot com. Okay, I'll just repeat this quickly. So it's S T I K H O N V A 26 at gmail.com. Correct. And if you are writing an email to Svetlana, please mention at the end of the day in your subject line so yeah. that she knows exactly where the email is coming from and what is the um, what is the email related to. Right. It's going to be easy for her. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And good luck. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Svetlana. It's nice meeting you and talking to you. Wonderful, you wonderful so time Thank and you. wonderful opportunity Thank to meet you. you. Thank you. And so keep following us and please share us your feedback and comments as to what you feel with every conversation that we do in our podcast. Right. And do subscribe our channel and keep commenting. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>